Hi, uh, my name is Claire and this week I'm going to be getting surgery because of a YouTube comment. So that is pretty much the long and short of it. I am getting surgery this Wednesday because of a YouTube comment. All my life I've had a slightly crooked nose and it never bothered me. As an adult, when I started playing sport, I started to get hits to the face with the ball, with elbows. The nasal issues sort of got worse and worse, but because it happened gradually, I sort of didn't really think anything of it. I got into the habit of like giving my nose a little, a little straighten before I finished my makeup. It just became part of my makeup routine. I'm always a very snotty individual. I'm gonna actually have to go blow my nose here. Sorry. That's the bad one. That's the good one. But I didn't know it had a name. I didn't know it was a condition. Excuse me, I'm going to blow my nose now and blow the ears clean off you. I didn't know that having one blocked nasal passageway had a name. And when I returned to YouTube, I've had a lot of comments about my appearance, but one comment stuck out with me. So are you ever going to get that deviated septum seen to or not? Hi, editing Claire here. I actually couldn't find the exact comment that I was referring to, but in my search I did find all of these comments about my nose that I wasn't aware were there before now. So that's nice. After seeing that comment, I googled <laughs> deviated septum and I was like, oh my god, that sounds like what I have. I went to the VHI Swift Care Clinic. In true to form, I waited till I needed to go for something else. <laughs> and then I said, also, can you check if I have a deviated septum? Deviated septum. Why can't I pronounce it? So I was diagnosed with a deviated septum. Because I play sport, I was trying to figure out when would be the best time to get it sorted. And it turns out I actually waited a year without realizing. The specialist was like, you got this letter a year ago. I was <laughs> like, oops. So my sinus issues started to get really bad and I felt like I couldn't put it off any longer. So I went back into the VHI Swift Care Clinic and I booked an appointment to see the specialist. Um, to talk about actually getting surgery to fix this thing. So I went in and I got a date. Got a date for surgery and then I went back out on the pitch, happy as a clam, and came up to the week before surgery and I broke a collarbone. I then had to get the surgery postponed because they didn't want to put me under a general anesthetic with a broken collarbone. So I am now on the mend for my broken collarbone. I'm not yet back playing sports, so it's the perfect time to get my nose done. <laughs> because I'm not playing anyway. So I'm going in on Wednesday, I'm getting my nose fixed and I'm very excited afterwards to hopefully be able to breathe. So yeah, wish me luck. And I'm gonna edit this together so you're now going to see what happened immediately. Okay, they think they're gonna have me out by 11 o'clock. So let's say goodbye to hopefully my nose problems at least. It may look the same afterwards, it may not. The doctors just came out with the consent form and told me that it is a refracturing, which I convinced myself it wasn't. All done. That looks scary. Not dead. <laughs> I'm smiling with you, Hato. Yay, tea. I'm so glad I got this done. I put it off already. Right I might not be as happy with the painkillers are off though. <laughs> Does it look straight? I've got stitches up here, paper stitches that won't dissolve. And then this moustache, they call it, comes off tomorrow. And then I have to wear this for a week. Gotta say, really love my health insurance. It's gotten great. Feeling <laughs> a little bit sick. Am I gonna be okay to take these on an empty stomach actually? I'm a bit sick. I just had a rice cake from that too. It's my auntie. Back. Oh, my throat is so sore. My throat's all cut on the inside. Oh, look at Yes, please. Uh, Pegna. Ah, uh, my throat is so fucking sore. It's not a deal for swallowing pills. Can't show you, but it's all bloody. I don't know how to show you. 
Oh, I feel a bit lightheaded. I might go sit down. Okay, it is 1 p.m. And she said that I could take this off after 24 hours, which was 1 p.m. Uh, I need to get it off because it really annoys me. But I get real queasy at this part. I might have to eat first. I feel really sick. It's fine, Claire. Just take it off. Ow, ow, ow. Now, it did say on the sheet that there should have been a pack up my nose that had been removed. Kind of look. Oh, that is. <coughs> that is rancid. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That's disgusting. I can't look at that. Okay, so we're going to take a break from looking at that. Oh my god, that's actually gross. I. I need a break from looking at the mirror for a minute. So I did manage some cleaning earlier without throwing up. Um, and like, why is there like a cut on the end of my nose? It looks like a cut, is it? Oh no, it's just like really caked in blood. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Jesus. It's not sore, it just feels absolutely disgusting. Have you ever stuck one of these over your nose? Gross. Oh, it's happening again. And so, I get really queasy around like blood and injuries and stuff and even though it's not sore like I'm on my stomach's already doing backflips. I probably shouldn't be too rough here, I just, I don't want to meet any other blood coming out of my nose, do you know what I mean? Like that's fairly normal isn't it? Just blew my nose there and two things struck me. First of all, that I don't know how to blow my nose using two nostrils at once. I've never done it. And also, there's no difference. First of all, look, that's not... They're not equal. Like, how does that look okay? Oh, I'm mad now. On my way to Atlone for the January training. Actually, won't be able to train today. I'm still out for the broken collarbone, even though it doesn't, it looks okay. And uh, I don't think my nose is any straighter than it was. So that was a fucking waste of time. Anyway. I'm up early. I have a meeting. I'm giving a presentation. Um, the person I'm meeting doesn't actually know that I have this in my face, so I'm gonna have to ring them now and be like, fair warning, so they're not shocked. Meeting, I'm going straight to the doctor's clinic to get this off. So I probably could take it off myself, but it's actually kind of gross underneath, so um, I don't wanna risk it, just leave it, at least I know how bad that looks. This weekend was really, really rough, and it's still not great. So Saturday, my throat started to hurt, and then all night Saturday and all day Sunday my throat was in agony. You can kind of hear it in my voice. Um, I've been using straps as an antibiotic spray to try and numb the pain. I've been eating painkillers like they're sweets. Even though it's really hard to swallow the painkillers, ironically enough. Okay, the big reveal. I don't know if I'm in focus because I'm not looking at the camera and my recording yet. That's much straighter. Okay, now looking at it in this, I'm like, no it isn't. Looking at that camera actually upsets me because it, I think it looks worse. It's really crooked from that camera. Don't think the commenter is going to be very happy. Oh dear. <laughs> In this it actually looks worse. Now to be fair, I don't have a shot of me in camera going like this before so I don't know how bad it was before but it doesn't look better. I can breathe, that was the point of it. Quick nose update, I got the bandage off my nose yesterday. When I woke up this morning I was breathing with my mouth closed, which is like new for me first thing in the morning. I was breathing easily through both nostrils. So look, they fixed it, right? I don't look any better. I don't look any worse though. Like I've lived with this face for a while. The only reason I was mad is because they made such a fucking point of going on about how crooked my nose was. So it's kind of like, they pointed it out to me how crooked my nose was and then didn't fix it. It's like, thank you for that. Then this is gross. So if you don't like snot stories, skip forward. I've been like putting my finger up there, <laughs> checking all is okay. And then like feeling like the corner of what I think is like a really small snot. And then I like get a hold of it and I pull it out and it brings out this like, it's like, like those spot squeezing video like la 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 vroom. and then it was just this big red and green lump of snot and 
I threw it out the car window. <laughs> I'm here, it's late at night in my room. I just wanted to add in that Alex is delighted. He sleeps better now. The other night I was like, oh my God, Alex, listen to how quiet my breathing is. He was like, I know. You were fucking giving out, it's not working. And I'm sleeping like a baby. You're no longer a mouth breather. <laughs> So I'm no longer a mouth breather. <laughs> I can breathe through my nose. So that's it. I don't look any different. My breathing is a lot different. I'm glad I did it. And cheers to the YouTube commentary that made me realize I needed to do something about it. And also that I had one. <laughs> I suppose the only annoying thing here going forward is the fact that the nose doesn't look different because people are still gonna comment and be like, are you gonna sort out that DVA septum? And I'm gonna have to keep writing back saying, Way heavier. The breathing, lads, the breathing on this is 90. I'm flat out breathing. <laughs> okay, bye, and I'll see you in the next one.